Friday, press plus, go to this customer, Pam Spring Cleanup Mulch Project. Okay, that's saved. A few more options. Go to description. Pam Spring Cleanup Blowout Gutters. Install one yard of mulch in front yard. Eight bags of bark mulch for pine trees and back garden beds. Six yards of double shredded hardwood mulch along spruce trees and back property line. Four pounds of grass seed plus debris removal, $490. Possibly repair sprinkler head for 65 bucks. All right, save. That's booked right now there. And this whole month is gonna be booked out within the next week. In the next two weeks, we'll be booked out like three months. So that's how I do it. So like I was saying, the one last quote I did I got the price up an extra $450 profit just by, you know, raising prices. But I'm not ripping off the customer. I was ripping off myself by charging way too low. The thing is operating your business as if you're a completely legitimate company paying, you know, uh, workers' compensation, payroll taxes, paying for uh, truck repair equipment, maintenance taxes, all this stuff. I mean... Listen, the customer asks you how much to do this. They call you and they say, how much to do this? You say, this is how much it costs to do this. You don't start going, oh my God. Like I used to do all that. How cheap can I make it? So they'll say yes. Oh my God. Like you're doing them like, you get what I'm saying there? They're asking you how much to do this. But if you're desperate, you're going to get walked on which I've been there, so I'm, you know, I'm learning myself. It's taken, you know, years in business, but, you know, I'm trying to make five grand a week. Uh, profit, five grand a week. I don't want to make one grand a week anymore. I want to make a five grand a week, and the only way to do that is to raise your prices, expand the top as you dissolve the bottom. So you raise your prices, you do more marketing, when you raise your prices, you make more money. You can invest more money in marketing and advertising. You can afford to buy a second or third truck and put more guys out on the road working and hire people. It takes money to do all that stuff, right? So when you're making money, you're happy. When you're not making any money, you're freaking out. Welcome to the Dollar Tree. And I always get some of these. Where are they? I hope you find them. Where are they? Here they are. These right here. A buck. And you can hold business cards in them, put them on your hip everywhere you go all day long. See? I always come and get these. What the hell? I don't want that, but I do want this. I want them in every truck. I want one in my wife's car. I want one all the time, no matter what. So I'm like a huge fan of the dollar store. I always come here and get all the little odds and ends stuff that I need. Here's a little tip for you, like office supplies and paper pad, notepads and pens. I used to drive myself crazy with this. So maybe I could use these little tiny notepads and I can get all these pens and then I could keep down notes and I could keep a notebook in my pocket and write down, we're in 2015, no pen and paper, no notebooks, no notes, all digital. You can dictate it and speak it into your phone and store it digitally and access it instantly. Paper is a complete waste of time, but I like it. Dude, trust me. Get rid of the paper. Go digital. So. Oh, look at this. Glass cleaning solution. Grab some of that. So you can buy glass clean for, you can make your own window cleaning solution. Uh, I've made my own before. You grab a big Homer five gallon bucket, you throw a whole thing of glass cleaner in there. And this works for me, I've tried and I've tested this. Where's peroxide? Oh, here you go. Throw a whole bottle of peroxide in there. Trust me, peroxide disinfects and it brightens. It's very nice. And you get your dish soap, you put like 
literally a half a thing of just open there and I already have some so I don't need it but I'll grab an extra one just because I'm gonna need it uh, which one I don't like this big huge one because it'll open and spill all over the place it'll be a more tightly condensed container that's just basic dish soap Dawn works really good something about it and then where's ammonia well it's already in the Windex so Vinegar, regular vinegar. Vinegar is amazing because, and then uh, a whole bottle of vinegar. Mix it all up, and that's your new concentrate. And it works really good. I've done this many times. And then also you can buy glass clean for these high-end window cleaning solutions, and you can mix that too. So you have like best of both worlds. This is the only vinegar I could find here. White distilled vinegar. And another thing that breaks up too is lemon juice. You can put lemon juice in your window cleaning solution. Do I want to put lemon juice in it? Do I want to put lemon juice in it? Because uh, if, it, if I put too much lemon juice, well, it leaves streaks. Okay, let's give it a shot. Give it a shot. <laughs> another thing I, another thing I love about the dollar store. Look at this, a level. We're doing a retaining wall project next week. A dollar. You can't find these for under like 12 bucks at Home Depot and stuff. At least that I'm aware of. And just little shit at the dollar store, man. Increase your profit. Dollar, increase your profit. What else we need here? We have a measuring tape. I got a measuring wheel though, I don't need that. But, yeah, I got plenty of measuring tapes. Got, um, these cheap ass tools. <laughs> oh, here's another cool tip. I really like the idea of being able to, uh, to paper clip a business card to a quote if you leave your quote at the door for them. Or you can staple it. Paper clips work good. So it's just hard to remember all that stuff. Oh, here's another thing. Scotch tape. You can stick the quote to the door. That's pretty cool. I want to put that in my little kit for quotes. So, there you go. I can tape it right to the door with paper clips, scotch tape right on the door when I leave quotes for customers. Oh shit. This is I'm gonna use this. We're gonna use this to plant flowers. One dollar. One dollar for a shovel. This is great. Look at this. This stuff is gonna make me thousands and I'm gonna spend twenty bucks. So it will literally probably turn into about five thousand dollars. And everything okay? Yep. Here we go, son. Got the clipboard. And start to build a little quote kit. Throw this stuff in here. I'll organize it as I go. Got tape, new pens, and now it's a complete quote kit. There you go. Open up the pens. Come on, bitches. Trash. Throw the trash behind me like a pimp in the bucket. More trash. Boop. Boop. Right behind me in the bucket. Any trash you got, throw it behind you in the bucket, in the trash bucket. Okay, time to go to Harbor Freight because the F-150 has a flat tire and I need to get uh, the four-way pin connectors so my other truck syncs up with my other trailer so I can switch them out at ease anytime I want. See, everything's got to be universal and versatile. Oh, I love Harbor Freight. It all depends on where you're at. It's the perceptual paradigm of where you're at in your business. In your business. What's this one? That's male. It's a female. But it's a large one. Yeah, but I need female to female. 
I might have to just buy two of them. All right, let's see. I took a picture of it. It's um, two males. I don't even know how I messed that up. So I can go two females here. I have to buy two of them. Or I could just cut that off and wear a female on there and be done with it. Because my other trailer is a, a male too. I'm going to have to just do that. I really need to get one of these pumps for my water fed pole window cleaning system right here. This booster pump. And it's the shit. Because I just I started so, walking around. I'm at Harbor Freight. And the guy who works here, your name is? Joey. Joey. Ah, oh, I'll put him on the spot, eh? Because he's asking me about the selfie stick. So I shows him. So you take it here, you extend it out like so. And see how I got it pointed? Yeah. At my right shoulder. And you hold it. And you start a YouTube channel. And you start talking about whatever you're interested in. And you be authentic. You're recording right now. Uh, see, then you okay. Me. That's yes. cool. What's up, YouTube? There you go. It's not YouTube. You're talking to, literally talking to John right now, or Joe, or whoever's. See, What's up, John? I'll tell you the biggest secret. You're not talking to a camera. You're not talking to an audience of people. You're because when you watch YouTube, you're, it's you're one person. You're not sitting there with 50 people at your phone watching YouTube. Yeah, that's true. You're talking to one person. So when you look into the camera, you're looking into John's eyes saying, You motherfucker. You <laughs> motherfucker. I oh, got yeah, someone checks out. Hey, hey, John, come back to the back. You guys aren't going to believe this. My first chainsaw was one just like that. An electrical plug-in chainsaw, dude. I cut down my first tree with an electric plug-in chainsaw that cost me 50 bucks at Home Depot. And my buddy who does trees, he's like, like that, right? I'm like, does it work? It works, right? I cut down that tree, I took the profit, and then I went and bought a real chainsaw. See? This is a little off topic. One thing I really realized in life, the whole you can't change other people, you can only change yourself. And if you try to change other people, you're going to beat your head up against the wall over and over. Uh, so I've really, really adopted that paradigm. You can't convince or teach or wake anybody up to anything that you might see. And other people see things that you don't. But if you're trying to get somebody to see what you see or, or can't you see it? Or you're, you're, you might as well go fart in the wind, bro. Here's a quick lesson. I already have a four-way to fix my flat tire in my truck in my storage unit, but it's buried. So I'd rather spend the ten bucks than go bury than go unbury the four-way, even though I know exactly where it is. My time is just too valuable. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not doing it. And I'm not doing it. Okay, I need a floor jack. I hate borrowing my brother-in-law's because I am a business owner now and I feel like a schlep. And I want some stupid heavy floor jack, but I'm gonna need it a lot from now on. Here's one 30 bucks for this little turd. I should just get it because it's cheap and it works. But I really should get this nice one. It's 80 bucks. But do I want to spend 80 bucks? Maybe I'll just get the nice one. We'll see. You know, sometimes my wife tells me that I'm a I'm a dickhead in public and with strangers. I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm an asshole, dude. When uh, the the uh, the cashier was ringing me up, you know how they try to sell you this five minute long warranty protection program and within blah 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 ninety days in a year before they even say anything, I'm like, listen, save your spiel. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want the warranty protection program, so don't even bother telling me about it. And I'm just upfront and honest, but I think I come across as a little bit of a dick. Oh, look at this, a nice doggy. Hey, doggy. This is great. I get uh, replaced the four ways so it matches the seven way with the harness to the three way to the four way to the six way to the seven way to, to the 26 way. <laughs> and I'm gonna fix that shit real good. 
before owning a landscape company and I never told you I used to be a uh, install technician at a big place here in Michigan I used to install car alarms base systems from Jeep Grand Cherokees to Mercedes I've done probably I don't know hundreds of uh, stereo systems car alarms remote starts all that shit so I'm very good at doing this stuff but I hate doing it so I just hate doing it blah gotta repair this mug I don't know how why it was this working last year when this is a male when it needs to be a female am I missing something whatever I'll just put a new one on there rip all this stuff off like so and replace it with a female I'll show you something called tight wrap method so when you uh, tighten wires it never comes undone with electrical tape you don't need like the stupid like shrink tubes and clamps and all that you can just do it with electrical tape through a tight wrap method get this mug off look at my nails they grow so damn fast I just clipped them like six weeks ago <laughs> I don't pay attention to that shit, man. Wife's like, look at your nails, you're gross. Clip them. As soon as I notice they're long, I fucking clip them. And then I get to fuck back to work. I don't even pay attention to that shit. I just don't like biting them. Uh, what does that have to do with what we're doing right now? Nothing, bitches. Okay, so. Here's what we're working on. Ah. Uh, Come on, you fuck. From male to female. I should just hook this bitch up to a uh, an ice cream truck um, horn with a music player. So we'll be rolling around landscaping like. It's Sunday right now and I'm sitting here fucking doing this shit. But I need to because the F 150's got a flat tire. Like this shit. Look at this shit. F 150 flat ass tire. Look at that. So, and so now we gotta pull the, the trailer. We gotta pull the trailer with the decoder. <laughs> 